Hey, I'm going to give you some troubleshooting tips on uh, how to um, try and find the root cause of the problem where you're going to fill up your fuel tank on your full-size Chevy. Uh, this is a 2004 Avalanche right here. Um, and about every gallon or so of gas that you put in, the pump shuts off. So the main reason that this has caused is um, the, uh, the, the vent hose is clogged somehow. So when you put gasoline into the engine, um, it's going to back up through the filler to and shut the pump off unless there's a way for the air to escape the tank. So there's vent hoses um, that go back out through the tank and into the charcoal canister and then out the solenoid vent valve. A lot of YouTube videos will tell you just go replace the solenoid vent valve. Well, in my case, that wasn't it. And I'll show you what I did to figure out exactly what the problem was. So let's get up underneath the truck. Take a look at what's going on here. <coughs> okay, we're right up underneath the truck here. Um, and let's see, let me get a different place here. We'll go over here. Okay, I'm underneath the fuel tank right now and I'm looking up and this is the the vent valve that comes off the fuel tank. It's connected to the charcoal canister, which is right here, which is roughly uh, above your uh, the rear end. Um, and then it comes out of the charcoal canister, goes uh, down this pipe right here to the solenoid vent valve. And this is just a this is just a filter right here. Um, and then this right here is a solenoid that opens and closes the vent um, to do. Uh, uh, fuel system diagnostics. So a lot of people say just replace this little solenoid right here and I'm not going to take it off but trust me it comes off pretty easily. Um, you can just replace it. It's I don't know 15, 30 bucks or something like that online. Um, and what happens sometimes is that this solenoid will um, get stuck closed. It's in the normally open position which allows it to vent air through this little uh, filter cup and then it just comes out into the, into the open. If this solenoid gets stuck closed um, it blocks the vent and, uh, and makes the fuel back up into the, the back of the um, fill tube. In, my in a lot of cases, replacing this solenoid valve will fix the problem. In my case, it didn't. There was nothing wrong with the solenoid valve. But how did I know that? Well, I just unconnected, disconnected this hose right here from the solenoid valve, essentially just taking the valve right out of the system. What that means is that the, the, vet, the air, the fuel vapors come out of this down this tube here and just get vented into the air. So essentially I'm just taking the solenoid valve out of the equation, it vents to the air. Um, you're going to get a, uh, a diagnostic trouble code, probably a P0446 when you do that, but you can just disconnect this so it's open to the air, go to the gas station, try and fill up the tank, right? In my case, it, the, the uh, pump still kept shutting off, so I knew that it was not the vent solenoid. The problem was somewhere else. So. Tracing back, right, I go back over here to the charcoal canister. This line right here is the connector from the, let me get a better picture of it. My light just turned. Um, this is the line that uh, vents the tank to the charcoal canister. So we've already eliminated the solenoid valve, let's eliminate the charcoal canister by simply disconnecting this line. It's not as easy as I just showed there. It's actually a little tougher. You have to do some, uh, you have to kind of squeeze this thing to, to get it off. But once this is just off of the charcoal canister, now the vent line is just, it's just venting into the open air, right? Then I went to the gas station and uh, tried to fill up and lo and behold, uh, the pump uh, didn't shut off at all. So what that told me is that this charcoal canister is clogged. Um, the, the, the vent vapors are trying to go through the charcoal canister and then come out the exit of the charcoal canister, but something's preventing them. So it's, it's clogged. Now I know I need to replace this charcoal canister. So um, at least that tells me exactly what the problem is. Um, now for now, I can just uh, reconnect this onto the charcoal canister um, and uh, I'll go online, I'll buy another charcoal canister and replace it and that should solve my problem. No well, um, with, so I'll be able to fill my tank up just fine afterwards. Hope this video helps you at least be able to 
eliminate these two um, uh, factors in the venting problem, the charcoal canister or the solenoid vent valve.